Hello, Crafty Thief. Welcome back to my channel. This is Trish again at uh, Clear My Submissions. And today I decided that I would film making some uh, glitter mixes. Um, I'm gearing up to uh, be start making merchandise or uh, stock merchandise stock for my online store. I've had it for years. I haven't done anything with it. I need to restock and get it up and going again. So I figured I would try to selling glitter mixes for shakers and stuff like that um so i already made some some months ago and i just use a lot of different things in these and i even named them um one of these i gave a uh, set in a, um in the uh the 25 days of Chris 24 days of christmas swap last year i gave some of my glitter mixes to my partner as one of the gifts and uh, I was like, I like these. I'm gonna make a mix for myself. So I made some glitter mixes for myself. Um, again, I named these, and I just put a lot of different things in it. So you can see that. And this is called Festive Mardi Gras because I use colors of Mardi Gras. And this one is called Luscious Pink. A lot of pinks and things in there. It's no pink down looks on camera, guys. It's really pretty pink. I sometimes, I, not sometimes, but I wish my camera would show the true color of things. And another thing, guys, I'm sorry if you can't hear me. Um, I had one person comment that they couldn't hear my movies. This is a new camera, my new camera that I got. Uh, because my other camera, it works fine. I just can't find the darn charger, so I don't know what happened to it. So I can't charge my battery on it. So when I can find the charger to my <laughs> my other um camera, I get back to using that one again. Um, but this one is called Sparkling Winter White. That's pretty. I like that. And this one is called Unicorn Purple. Because with this mix, it was, uh, had unicorns in it. You can see there's some unicorns in there. From some, uh, things I mixed in it. And this one is called Majestic Blue Ocean. It's a pretty blue. Or like a turquoise or aqua. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get in front of the camera. So this is called Majestic Blue Ocean. Again, I come up with these names of my own. And this one is called Royal Gold. And it's all gold. Okay, so um, what I've done as I used, I had some containers I got from Dollar Tree, and these are the wrong size. I got to get the bigger sizes out. Yeah, these are it. And um, I didn't measure these, so I'm going to use this for myself. So when I make some more, I'm going to actually measure these because you got to have that measurement when if you're going to be selling these. So um, I haven't figured out. I got to figure out how much is going to be going in these uh, little container pots. Uh, when I um, put them in there. Okay. So, let's move this over. These are some glitter mixes that I got from other swaps. We're going to move those. Alright, so this is my big old thing of a uh, of uh, sequins that I got. All different colors. This is what I keep in one of my drawers uh, in my um, storage over here. And then I have all of these colors. These are little tube um uh, thingies that I got from a Dollar Tree and they come in all different colors and uh, some of these containers I haven't cleaned off guys I just got lazy I did a video on how I clean these off I just haven't got around to doing it yet but some of them I cleaned off and some are like this one this is like a turquoise blue color again my camera is picking up the true color of these this green it's a pretty green and like a bronzy or a copper color and red and this is like a iridescent color and blue and like a lime green like a lighter green pretty that's all of those and then I'm also going to be using possibly some of these glitters this is chunky glitter I'm not going to put any fine glitter in here because fine glitter, it just sticks to everything. I like to use a more chunky um, 
Thanks to God. There's uh, some of these you can you can see that there's like fine glitter in there, but basically it's chunky glitter. And this is from Recollections from Michaels. And these have uh, colors too, women. This one is uh, platinum, platine, or platinum, platinum. I was leaving the uh, different uh, ain't, uh, language for it. And this is berry blush. It's like a pink color. And this one is peacock. And let's see, you got another one back here. This one is. This is a recollection too. I don't see the name on it, the back of it. It's probably in the front, but I can't see it. Because it's clear, that's the front of it. It's got a sticker on there, but I can't see it. I don't know why they do that. Uh, this is Chunky Glitter. I'm trying to read this. But it's not giving a name for this one. Oh, Vintage Silver. That's the name of this kit. It's called Vintage Silver, but it's not on the back like the other ones are. So this is called Vintage Silver. And then you can add these, like if you're doing one for Christmas. This is uh, Large Sequence Snowflakes. We got these from uh, Dollar Tree. And you can also add like the snow. I got this from Dollar Tree. This is like that, you know, used for snow. And then I have these from Recollections, all of these colors. Again, this is Chalk and Glitter. And gold stars, silver stars, white st hearts, copper hearts, champagne hearts, and charcoal hearts. Charcoal stars. Right. So there's different shades. Hearts and stars. And then this one is uh, more opaque colors. Now this green. These colors right here, these two colors, and these are clear. But the other ones, this orange... This one and this one, these are more uh, opaque, but the other ones are clear. And so, blush hearts, bubblegum hearts, blue stars, sunflower stars, orange hearts, and mint stars. And then we have these, and this is just a uh, different chunk. This is just like chunky. You see that? Just chunky colors. And you can see all the colors in there. Uh, let's see the colors are it said diamond shaped glitter. It's a red, gold, silver, gunmetal, iridescent, white, and blue. Hmm. <laughs> That's the color of my car. It's just gunmetal. And we have this one. These are all uh, the same size. I think these are like a hexagon. It's chunky glitter. And the colors are sunflower orchid mint cotton candy powder and pumpkin so i'm going to be using some of that and the smallest thing i'm going to be putting in here um depending on what colors i have i've had these forever and these are um micro beads tiny tiny little micro beads my mother stood i put some of these in there too um so yeah so i just want to sit here and mix them up uh then we're going to pour them in the containers um and i forgot to get a container to mix them in just a minute. I'm gonna get a cup from where I have cups. I just gotta find them. And so we're gonna get a container to mix them in. Um, actually, I'm going to use these. Use these containers, which I also got from, which is the same thing with my glitters, uh, my sequins are in. Uh, so I can make as much as I want, and then I could just scoop them up. Um, with the measuring spoons that I got, uh, that's I'm going to measure how much we're going to go into these. But to uh, be different, I'm going to use these little spoons, which I also got from Dollar Tree. So, um, trying to think what, so I'm going to see if I can remember or look at these and make some more of these because I really like these colors. Uh, so, let's see. So, this is called Luscious Pink. So, we're going to use some Luscious Pink. So, I'm going to go through this and see what colors some. You know, close to what I use. So, I'm just going to, I'm going to make a lot of this guys because I'm going to have uh, different, um, I didn't put that, I didn't put the this purple in because it's more purple than pink, I think. Um, I guess it'll go, but I didn't want it too pink, so I used this instead. I'm gonna put some of that in there. Let's put a little more. Let's put a little more of this too. And so you 
you can mix because they can all be monochromatic colors or you can mix the colors like I did uh, the um, Festa Mardi Gras but most of these are supposed are monochromatic colors but I'm going to mix in some different colors like I'm going to do a Christmas color and like that uh, let's see and I'm just looking at these so the colors I use some of this some of this sequence a lot of these sequins I got from uh, um, either Dollar Tree or I got from uh, Tuesday morning. And this is what this mix looks like. Mmm, I like making my own glitter mixes. Let me see this color, color, that other color I put in there. I'm going to use some small pink ones, some small pink sequins. Let's see. I can use these. So. Let's put some of them. And, and um, let's see. Did I put any beads in here? I don't know if I put any. I didn't see any Marco beads in here. But uh, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Um, let's use some of this. Get some of this in there. You don't have to use as many different colors or different uh, kinds of materials, but I like texture in my glitter mixes. So I like to use a lot of different. Uh, uh ingredients I guess you would say. No, nope, that none of that. Um did I use any of these little parts? I don't think I did it. I did I I don't see any. Do I want to put some in there? No, I'm gonna add some of these pink cards. I guess I didn't put none in another mixture, but I'm gonna put some this time. Okay, let's see, what else can we put in here? Um, and some of the other iridescent, uh, some of this. And let's see. Oh, no, I'm not going to put any of that because I got there. And that's why we're kind of close, so let's see. I think it's going to be it. And we can put that in and some shake it around. And you know what guys, I think I want to put some of this uh, some micro beads in there. Don't have to, but I'm gonna. And let's see, we're gonna use this pink. And like I said, they're really tiny, tiny little micro beads. Look at and see which more, which one you need more of. Nope, I didn't. Come on, come on, get back in there. To even out your mixture. Let's see. I think I'm going to need some more of this one. Probably add another kind of glitter. Mm, well, those are more red. I don't think that was too red. Um, let's see. That's, that, that's more purple. There. Let's put some of this. I don't have a lot of this one. Oh. 
think I like it. And I also thought I could stand a little bit more of this. These are the um, two beads, the iridescent two beads. my label out here so I gotta um I'm gonna have to label these label this mixture let's see up close oh goodness gracious I wish that would show the true color of what it looks like and if I can get it in front of the dang camera but yeah it's really pretty I like it yeah it's close I think I put a little bit too much of that chunky glitter though. But yeah, it still works. I think I'm going to add some more. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, but yeah, I like it. Okay, so that's that one. Um, You know what? I'll mix those up later. I'll mix a different color. I mean, those ones I already got later. Let's make up more. Get another container. And let's mix something. I want to do something that's got pinks and greens in it, like it's uh, like a rose garden, a pink rose garden, or something. And that's what I want to call it, too, pink rose garden. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get up some. Uh, let's see. Um, oh crap! Let me see. I like this color glitter. Uh, excuse me. So we're going to put some leaves in here. I like these colors. I don't think I'm going to put as much stuff in, in here as I did the other one. I have these other ones. put this stuff in there. And let's do a little bit of green. I'm not going to put a lot of green because you get more flowers than leaves, I would think. So I'm going to try not to put too much green. Let's put some of these green stars. And I don't think I'll put anything else out of there. Yeah. Let's do some of this, more of this pink right here. I want to make a a bit of this so I have enough so I can uh, put it um, make a different um, get a lot of different uh, many containers I can use that okay so which one should I use I have rose and berry blush um, well I think I'll use rose since it's like a pink rose star so let's use rose I don't think I used I think this is the stuff you probably don't want to use too much of. Because it's got some of that micro glitter in there. I mean not look it's not really that um micro but it is. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Let's try a little bit of these uh this green. I think I'm going to go back to some of these sequins. Like I said, just mix and mix and mix. Uh, even if you're not selling it, you just make enough that, you know, for your uh, your personal use. But you want to mix enough. Uh, so that you can have uh, multiple containers out of it. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's see. I'm thinking I need something else. Uh, I mean, let's see. I want to put more sequins in. I have another shade of pink, maybe. Let's try some of this.
Yeah, this is going to be called Pink Rose Girl. Let me see what else I want to put in here. Like I said, I'm trying to fill it up as much as possible so I can uh, get a lot of containers out of it. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think if these would be okay. Um, what do you think about these guys? Will these go? It's a different shade of green. I don't think I'm going to like that in there. I'm going to use this in a different uh, mix. I don't think I like that in there. Um, let's see. Um, here, let's try this one of these. Um, this is an uh, iridescent uh, resin. And I like these because they enhance the color, even though they're not the same color. Um, they were... Uh, the iridescence will, will bounce off the uh, other colors that's in there and they'll uh, almost look like the same color and that did I think that's, that's enough and I like that mix so I'm going to call this pink rose garden so I like that I gotta remember the name hmm. okay on to another one. I, I was still doing this and I was like, oh my god, this is so much fun. Okay, so now let's see. Um, let's do something like for mermaid color. And I'm thinking probably um, some purples and uh, purples and turquoise maybe colors. Maybe a little bit of green, I don't know. So we're going to use this color, it's called Peacock. So we're going to try some of this. I'm not going to hold it real hard because it's got this little micro, see all this stuff right here? Um, I'm going to show you something, go back to that one I did, that first one I made. I don't like all that, that glitter, that, like that fine glitter. It looks like it's fine glitter, but it's not, but it's just, it's, mm. I don't like the fact that it sticks. So yeah. So you gotta be careful when you're using this because it's got the uh, the fine glitter in there too. But I I like to use just mostly chunky glitter. Okay, so um, I like this color. Um, what color? Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Let's just let's just let's do a little bit of this. Use this color, I'm going to use this color as well. And we're going to use some of this uh, purple looking, uh, well, it's pink, but purple, I don't know. Uh, you know what, it matches what I just put in there, so we're going to call it purple today. And this is a two bead. And then we're going to go to the other two beads. That's like a purple color. I thought that made it, darn it. And like I said, it's always good to add in um, some of the iridescence. And with this, I'm going to add some of the snow. I'm going to add the snow because uh, it was iridescence. Other colors bounce off of it, and it looks like it's all it all goes together. Let's see what else I can put in here. Here, let's try some of these blue stars right here. And then we gotta find some more purple stuff to put in here. Shake, shake, shake. And let's see what else. What else, what else, what else, what else. Um, let's see if we can find some more sequins. Oh, wait a minute. We can put those sequins in here yet. Okay. Um, I'm trying to find the right purple. Yeah. Okay, we got some of the 
Because there's extra things for we'll do. I'm going to put them in there anyway. I don't like it. And some of this solid purple. I don't have a lot of it. But it kind of matches the, the shiny purple I just put in there. I might even add a tad bit of green. I don't know, because guys, like I said, this is going to be some kind of like a mega mermaid. Uh, look at here. Look at this. And like I said, some of these glitters like this, I know this is one of the glitters that I got from uh, uh, Tuesday morning. I like that mix. Let's see. Um, I'm thinking I probably should add some more because, like I said, you gotta be mindful of this container size. You want to fill it up or just about. Put some more of that and some more of this color. And some more of this snow. Some more of this snow. So there's another one, and we're gonna—it's gonna be named Mermaid something. I, I'm gonna ask. This will be more than just Mermaid. I'm gonna add something more to Mermaid. Okay, another container. Probably make one or two more. Okay. Okay, let's do. How about Fourth of July? Um, let's do red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blues. No, I'm gonna dump all that in there. I gotta get some more, some more of that. Uh, I'm just, I'm gonna end up just going to Hobby Lobby, just getting one single color or something because, um, I like usually like to get the colors that I got from my uh, Dollar Journal. I mean Dollar Tree because, um, is this blue or more of a turquoise color? All right, we're gonna hold off on this color because uh, I'm not sure about that color. Um. See, it's not the same as this blue, but I guess it'd be okay with different shades of blue. I'm gonna put some of this in there. these are like a uh, spice container that I use uh, so I have to take it off because the, this not going to fit through that all right and let's do some white let's do that some white sequins now, I have white sequins but they have snowflakes in them and I can probably go through and pick some out and not put the uh, snowflakes in so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to spoon some out and just pick out the 
snowflakes. Because I don't want the snowflakes in there. And let's hope I get them all out. Oh! Damn it. <laughs> You're making a mistress. Well, you can expect that with glitter. And sequins. Especially glitter. Okay, so I'm picking out all the snowflakes because, like I said, this is a... It would be like a Christmas mix because it got snowflakes in it. So, we're doing 4th of July. We don't want snowflakes. We do not want snowflakes. We don't want it snowing in July. Mother Nature already then lost her ever loving mind with this weather. Okay, let's see. Again, trying to get out all the snowflakes. That's not so hard because they're kind of big. It's not so hard to get them out. Okay. The ones that glitter up, and I know there's some on here that I was glitter that I just built is uh, not the right color, but it's not gonna be a big deal. I don't think get a little bit of it in there. All right, so let's do this. See what this looks like. Hmm. That's good. I think we need some more white though. Even though the silver's in there, but we're gonna need more white. Um let's see. We're not gonna use this because I don't like that blue. It's not the rock shade of blue. Oh we good, that's what I need. I need to get some white sequins, guys. Oh, wait a minute. The iridescent ones. Where are they? Here we go. Let's throw a little bit of these silver ones in there, too. Yeah, we never got some of them. I'll put all that. Just gonna put a little bit. Oh, it does have some white ones. Uh huh. But I got some silver ones. Now we have Fourth of July sequence mix. And you know what? Let's put some um No we only want no we won't only want we won't do that. Um I need let's put some of these. Let's put some of these blues. That's because I need, I need more texture. I just like texture in my glitter mixes. Yeah, I'm all about texture. Okay, there you go. No problem filling this one up. No problem filling this one up. Oops, now I'm filling it. I right, burn it. Well, good gravy, Trish. Excuse me, guys, while I make a mess. Okay, I need something to scoop this up. That spoon is not going to cut it. Uh, let's see if I got a piece of tape over here. And I'm still spilling it everywhere except in the darn container. Okay, enough stirring, because every time I try to stir it or something, I'm spilling it. I think I probably put too much in this container. Okay, so, I'm going to show you all that mix. How does that look? Festive enough? Yeah! What did you like?
Grab that one. Okay. Let's do one more, guys. Just for the top of it. Um. Um. I like. Uh, let's do something like a steampunk, like uh, different kinds of metal colors. I got a bag of these things, guys. That's what I'm grabbing for. I got, that's not all of me. That I got. Those are the ones I just opened out of the package. Okay, so let's do something that had that's metals. Uh, I'm thinking steampunkish. I'm thinking steampunkish. Nope, that's not the color I need. It. Maybe okay. Oh, that's not the one I was going for. Okay. And I'm using these with the uh, what are these called? Diamond shaped glitters. And there's nothing there. I might use that glue right there. I don't know. Oh, I didn't glue it. Okay. Let's use some. Uh, I might use some all of these except the the uh, iridescent stars because these are all like metal colors. I don't know, so I'm not gonna put too much of that. And this is, I think this is the yeah, copper hearts. This is uh, some really chunky glitter. And maybe some of this. I these are mostly like metals, like. sequence too bad I gotta go ahead and go to my sequence mix. And it's really not sequence mix because there's more than sequence in here. This is just shaker mixes. That's what they're called. Shaker mixes. Because they're not and, and, and all of it all the ingredients or the um the things in here is not all sequence. Let's try some of this color. Brighten it up a little bit. Mm. Oh, this color. That's kind of brown color. We're going to have some anyway. That's more like a copper or bronze color. Uh, and. Oh, this time. I think it's going to be it. Because this is getting kind of full. I like when I get a. Uh, a lot of different colors or something. So I like this. I like this mix. Oh yes, I like it. I like it a lot. Now if I can just stop filling it out of the freaking container. This is gonna be something steampunk or some a steampunk something. I'm not gonna not gonna just gonna name it steampunk, but it's gonna have a name steampunk in it. Okay. Hmm. Let me put a little bit more of that. 
One, two, three. I'm just one of these days I'm gonna go to Hargo just to buy up a crap load of uh, chickens. I need more colors. I'm gonna make a list of colors that I need to get though. Cause I'm not gonna, I mean, I'm gonna buy a lot of colors, but I'm not gonna. If I already got enough of one color, I'm not gonna buy it again. I'm gonna buy some more of it when I don't need it. I'm gonna need to buy more colors that I don't have of. Okay. Is it? No, it's just, it looks like it's green, but it's a. Uh, the iridescent ones in there that make it look like it's green. Oh, how do you like that mix? Damn punk. I like it. Um, let's put some of these Michael Beats in there. Let's dump a little bit of these in there. This color. And this is called, this is copper. And I like these because they don't stick like micro glitter does. I mean, they, they, they might stick to the bottom. They might go to the full to the bottom, but yeah, I like it. Okay, so there is my glitter mixes or shaker mixes. I like it. Okay, so this is steampunk something or something steampunk. That's that color. And then 4th of July. Uh, mermaid. Something. Or something mermaid. This is a pink rose garden. Like that one. And then this one is the one mixer I made up, it's a uh, luscious pink. Wait a minute, was it, is this what the color I had? I made, where'd it go? Yeah, luscious pink. There you go, guys. So, um, there are my glitter mixes. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and, uh, mix up some, uh, I mean, package some, put package some up. I'm going to go ahead and put some of these in there. And uh, we're going to measure and see how much it's going to be. Hold on. Oops. Oh my God. I just, I just it. Okay. So, I'm going to try to get 25 to 30 milliliters in here. And if I can get 25 in here, then it's going to be a little over 84 ounces. And if I can get 30 milliliters in here, then it'd be a little over one ounce. So hopefully, I'm going to... Hmm. Or maybe I should probably use the little ones and just do 20, 15 milliliters. No, that's not going to be enough. Um, I need a funnel. Here's my little funnel thingy. Oh, crappity crap crap. Let me see. I need a funnel, guys. I have one on here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Okay. Let's see. Uh. Oh, is that it? I think that'd be it. Oh, crap. Alright, guys. Hold on just a minute. I'm going to pull out stuff. My desk is clean, but not clean. It's organized. I gotta clean it off. I got too much stuff on it. But I got a little bitty. It's a, like a little tray, and the thing's got a funnel on it. And I can dump it out of the tray through the little funnel part. If I can really like dig with it. Okay, think of something else, Trish. Think of something else. Hmm. Maybe we can do it. Okay. So, we're going to 
to do. I need to put a piece of paper under this because I'm afraid I'm going to spill it. And then whatever I spill, I'm going to throw it back in here. Alright. Hold on, let me get a piece of paper, guys. Put it. I can pick it up. That's even better. Okay. Alright. Let's see if we can do this without making a total mess. Five months would be like 20 milliliters. And then it'll be probably a little less than a little less. You know what? I'm just going to do 15. I'm just going to do 15 milliliters. I'm just going to pour this out. I'm just going to do 15 milliliters. So, I mean, I don't know how much it'll pack down. Was, you know, during shipping and all of that. And, uh... I don't know how much it's going to pack down, if at all. And then I don't want, you know, when you open it, it's going to spill everywhere. So, 15 milliliters. That's, that's, a, that's a good amount. You think? That's a really good amount. Um, let's see how big this guy is. Because, unfortunately, on the package of these things, it doesn't say how many, you know, how much is, uh, what size the jar is. I mean, how much you, it holds. So, it's like an inch high. And an inch and a half, an inch and a quarter. Yeah, an inch. Yeah, what am I doing? That's like it's an inch high, and then it's. Oh, well, that doesn't seem right. Okay. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Duh. Okay, it's more than an inch high. That's the one that got the lid on it. And it tapered just a tiny bit. Okay, so it is. An inch and three eighths high, and it's uh, an inch and a quarter wide. But it's you know, that's big size. That's a nice size. I think that'd be enough. I I, th I think that'd be enough. So yeah, fifteen milliliters. Fifteen milliliters would be enough. We'll do that. Let's go ahead and do up another one. Put enough flour in there, but there's a little bit more secret measure. Okay, where's my lid? Where's the lid? Where's my lid? Where's the lid? Oh, there it is. Okay, that's that's a good amount. Let's do one more. Dry skin. I'm always because I'm always washing my hands. I do my more washing the moisturizing. I'm forever washing my hands. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. My memory card ran out of room, so I went ahead and uh, measured up some more of these little uh, containers. And I'm going to show you what they look like. 
Now, I went ahead and just put 15 milliliters, which adds up to a little over 5 ounces. Because I think it's good. So, this is the Luscious Pink. Oh, there are two of those. And then the Mermaid Color. And the Pink Rose Garden. Then 4th of July. And then Steampunk. Now, I, <laughs> I'm kind of glad that I wasn't filming because I was going to do three of these a piece, but then I dropped one all over for all over me. And I was mad. I mean, and it, and with this one, it was not so bad because I had a lot of different colors. I had a lot of this, uh, the ingredients I used in this to make some more of that if I need to or if I want to or whatever. So, um, but I'm still mad I spilled it all over the place, but I only got two. So I just went ahead and just did two of each. Um, so I'm going to get these labeled up and I'm going to get them, yeah, put some tape on it to make sure they, you know, stay closed or whatever. But and I'm normally when I send these in like little swaps or anything, they, I don't remember having anybody having trouble with them opening up. But I'm still going to do that. You never know what can happen. But yeah, so these are some of my glitter mixes. I'm going to come up with some more guys. So if y'all like making gl 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 glitter mixes or sequin mixes or sugar mixes, what you want to call them. Um, yeah, just get all the little things like I did. Whatever you think would go good in a glitter mix or shaker mix or whatever. And just, you know, make some combinations of your own. Um, so thanks guys for watching and, uh, I'll be back with some other videos. Uh, I got a lot planned going on and stuff, so y'all, uh, stay tuned for that. But thanks guys for joining me and y'all have a happy day. Bye.